If you'd like to see how I'm going to build a lamp using a bottle lamp kit from Amazon and turn it into this lovely, beautiful conversation piece lamp, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube. So today in this video, I am going to be making a lamp. This video is so long overdue. Um, I, I got the idea from my sister-in-law. She sent me a, a picture of just a bottle. It wasn't done up or anything. It was just a bottle and it had um, not even a lampshade on it. It just had this little hook up here, which is called a bottle lamp kit. I got this off Amazon a year ago. So I had put this off because I couldn't figure out how to get the lampshade to go on here. So after doing some research, I finally kind of figured it out. So this goes in here. It came with three for like $18, but due to inflation, I, I look back and I think you get like one for $15 now. So I don't think you get as many. I don't know where they are to show them to you, but you do get three different corkscrew sizes for different size bottles. And it's also this little piece here that if you want to drill a hole in the actual, through the glass, then you can make the cork go through the, um, down the bottle and out the back, which would look better. Um, maybe I'll try that method later on when I have like the right drill bit or something. I'm not sure how that goes. So this does have like a nice long cord that goes along with it. And it, I'll try, I'll link um, whatever I can find now. It just probably won't be the price I paid for it. So it does plug into the wall. And at the time, I didn't know that this comes off. So this does come off like that. And then you put what you need to put on there and you close it back. So I had did this bottle a long time ago because I knew that I was gonna be doing something to it. And that was quite some time ago. So what I'm going to do, oh, what I had to do also was buy this piece. Now this came two in a pack from Amazon as well. And it's called Detachable Lamp Shape a lampshade harp 10 inch nickel and I purchased this for about $12 and it came with two in the pack so once I got this I was like okay I, I can get somewhere with this because when you put this on it has it has this piece on it which was able I was able to get this on I didn't have that before to hold a lampshade on here then I didn't have a lampshade and I thought I was gonna be able to make one from scratch and it just was not working out right. So I went to the, uh, the Goodwill. I purchased this old lampshade and it, it actually matches because of this burgundy wine color on the bottle. However, I don't like it. It's fine, I just don't like it. Um, it, looks, it looks a little outdated. I like that it has the plastic on it so it really looks like it's in decent condition. I actually, oh good, the price is on here. I actually only paid $3.39 for it. So I just had to really figure out, cause you know, some lamps have the shade, the hookup piece lower down here, and then some of them have them up top. Um, if you already know about putting lamps together, I guess you could fast forward this part, but for people like me who didn't know how to like build a lamp from scratch, then uh, this part may be helpful. So you see it has this part right here. And when I unscrew this, I'm able to hook this up on here. So I was like missing that and then all I had was this and I just couldn't figure out where to go from there. So if you have one of these and you wanna know how to make it work with something else to be like a full lamp, cause you can. It, yeah, of course, I could have just put that on there, pop the bulb on it, but that's not the look I was going for. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I just wanted to walk you through that part first. Then I have a 75 watt bulb that I got from the Dollar Tree. Then I'm going to be using, well, before I get started, I'm gonna do this first. I just wanted to show you all everything I have here first. I'm going to be using this Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold Bright and Shiny Finish Paint that I purchased from Home Depot for probably about $7.50. Um, this is my favorite. I like this and I like to use the silver. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I was thinking that this will look very, very pretty if it was gold. Because you see how I have the gold on here? It's silver and gold glitter, but then it has like the gold accents on the label. I just thought that would be so cute. 
So I'm gonna take this outside. It's already dark outside. I'm gonna try to set my camera up and I'm gonna spray paint this gold. So that's what I'm gonna do first. So I'll be back after that. Okay, so I'm going to be spray painting this lampshade. As you can see, it is a burgundy uh, deep wine color, which is a pretty color, but I just wanted to go with a gold. I'm just going to turn it to each side and spray it. I'm only going to do one coat. If you do this, feel free to do as many coats that please you. I'm gonna let this dry and also spray the inner side of it and see how it turns out. Here is the result of me spray painting that burgundy wine colored satiny $4 Goodwill lampshade. I'm so impressed. I only did one shade, I mean one coat. I did one coat, I probably could have did multiple coats. You could do multiple coats on yours. I did one. I figure it looked good the way it looked good to me, so I'm gonna just leave it how it is. It may not be perfect, but it looks way better than what it did. Now, I can go ahead and put this together. But some just kept telling me like, it looks nice and even and everything. But, I found this little trim, y'all. So, I was thinking that I would at least do that. It don't need it, but I just feel like it kinda could need it. But if you don't want it to need anything extra, you stop right here and you don't add anything to your lampshade. But I just feel I just feel like I just need to do this. So I'm gonna cut a nice, well you know what? Well you know what? I need to make sure I have enough. So let me just do this four times. That's one, two, three. Uh oh, look, I don't even have enough. No, uh, I don't have enough. I have a different size. It's thicker, but I like the thinner one, but still, I don't feel like having to try to cut this. Let's see if I have more of one or the other. Nope, they're both the same exact size. You know what, so what? I'm gonna do the three sides, okay? One side just gonna be a little thicker. I know that may bother some of y'all, especially if you have OCD or something, but don't worry about it. I'll make sure the thicker side is like in the back. I don't think it's gonna be done. I don't think it's gonna be noticeable, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And hopefully you won't worry about it either. Just make sure yours isn't like that. But yeah, I didn't realize I didn't have enough to make it go all the way around. So I'm gonna use some hot glue. This has been giving me a problem, so I don't know if it's going out or what. I'm gonna use some hot glue, and I'm gonna use a little bit of bob snip so I can have something a quick hold glue. Sometimes you need two glues. So that's. Okay, so I'm taking my hot glue gun and I'm just applying it to this uh, bling, uh, or it's called diamond wrap or bling ribbon wrap. I got it off Amazon. It also comes in like a silver color. I will make sure I have a link so that you can purchase this from Amazon if you're interested. I think it was about $11.99 and you get three different sizes of it. It's so pretty. This is like my first time using it. So I'm also using the Bob Smith because that glue locks on like almost immediately. So I wanted to make sure that I had a backup glue just in case one kind of failed me. What I'm doing, and I did end up cutting it. Uh, let's see if you can tell the difference. It's not really all the way even, it's uneven, but I knew, I knew it would be. It's kind of hard, this stuff is like metal chips in here. So I did cut it to try to attempt to make it have a better fit, so. This is the last piece, we'll see how it turns out. And again, this part that's a little uneven can just be, you know. Okay, so I'm doing the final side. Again, I did try to cut it a little bit to make it match the other sides. I'm not gonna worry too much about it because it's really actually not that noticeable. But I did wanna make sure it wasn't like too large. So I'm just closing this up on the edge and cutting that to make it fit the best that I can. Put this lamp together. I tried to but do this I cork area with a gold sharpie and it just still looks pretty ugly right there. So I'm gonna just put this, so I have in, this here. in here like that. I wanna make sure you can see it. My idea, but I have to, oh, and then if you're wondering if this is gonna topple over, it is an empty bottle. That is a pretty big lampshade. So 
I would like to put some uh, marbles in here. I don't have any on hand, but to cover this up for now, I'm going to, you know, cause you can see the bottle area there. I'm just gonna put a little hot glue and put some of this trim over that. And then to cover up the cork, I'm gonna make sure I can still open up cause I do have to, like I said, put some marbles in there. I'm gonna cover this up like that. I think that looks a lot better, you know? So I'm gonna do that really quickly right now. So closing this up and just covering up the area that was still showing doesn't make this like super permanent. What I did is I just really pushed the cork down in there really, really good. So I feel like it won't open back up, but if you wanna secure it with some glue, you can, but I didn't. Up. But there's still, I don't know if you can see it or not, a small gap here that I don't like. And it's cool because when I cut that other piece, I can just close it up like that. But before I do that, oh, I left the thing downstairs, dang it. Well, no. I don't know if you can see it, but now that I have this on and it's all together, there's this little gap here. I left that there intentionally because I know I want to put marbles in here later. So it's cool because I have this little piece from when I cut this strip. I can go ahead and seal that off so it could be more closed off. But once I put that on there, I don't want this opening back up. It's really no need, no need for it to. So remember I told you guys, this is an empty bottle, obviously, that I didn't have any marbles. I told you guys I didn't have any marbles and I want to put something in here to make it nice and sturdy. And I don't have any sand. That's another option if you don't have marbles. So my husband reminded me that we had some rocks. So I'm gonna, I filled it up already and it's so heavy. I don't know if you can see, well, you probably can't see in there, but it's really, really heavy. And I just want to show you guys what the rocks look like, just in case you're wondering. The little craft rocks. So some of them are brown. You can get these from Dollar Tree. Some of them are brown and black, and then some of them are just white. So I'm gonna show you right here on camera how I just put them in there. It took me about 15 minutes, but I kinda just, if you have a funnel, it may be quicker to do it that way. But I put probably 200 rocks inside of here and it's nice and heavy and sturdy. So I'm gonna finish putting these rocks in here. Just wanted to show you, so you can see what they look like. Now, I can go ahead and close this off. Cause you see that it, I couldn't put this on the whole thing cause this part has to go inside of the actual bottle. Okay. As you can see, some of this has to go inside of the actual bottle. I'm gonna make sure that's nice and sturdy like that. And I guess it doesn't depend, it, does, it depends on you if you so want the lamp to, to cut on the lamp to cut on, on this side, or if you wanna turn it. Well, I guess once it's in there, you can still change your mind and turn it, or if you want it to cut on on this side. For some reason, I'm thinking this side, maybe because I'm right-handed, but it doesn't matter. So, now that I have that where I want it, I can go ahead and put this little piece of strip here, just a little thin piece just to close up that little bit of space. And this is what the back looks like. It doesn't look like super perfect. I probably can snip an extra piece of this off. It's like a little extra piece to make that little flatter. But I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on. Okay, so I have that covered up like that. Now the next step is to unscrew this, comes off like that, and put this on. Put that on like this, and then screw this back on. Nice and tight. And then I have this little 75 watt LED light bulb from the Dollar Tree, soft white. Screw that in. Then if you want to, you can spray these the color that you want to match. Like I could have did this gold, but I didn't want to. I didn't see the need to. That's just me. 
Now I'm going to carefully place the lampshade on here and screw this on. Nice and tight. Now I'm going to plug this into the wall. Final uh, big reveal here. I'm going to cut it on. And there we go. We have our working functioning lamp. And I am so excited about it. Let me cut this light off. I cut my ring light off. This is how it looks. It's still daylight, so it's not gonna. But let me just tilt it so you can see. Nice and bright underneath there. And that's the lamp. And I think it looks very unique. It's very pretty. Well, now just looking at it, I could have went two coats. Just looking at that. I'm still not, but I could have for that reason. I don't think it's super obvious, but if it bothers you, that's cool. But it could be like a holographic effect because the wine color is right here in the bottle here. So I'm gonna show you a couple more angles of it, but this is the list. Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of this glittered Jose Cuevo um, tequila bottle that I added on a bottle lamp kit and turned into a working functioning lamp. I am very excited and I do really like the outcome of this lamp. I think it's very, very pretty. Now, there's so many other ways that you can do this. Like you can make it even fancier than this, you guys. Can you imagine if you do something like this and you bling the bottle out? Whatever wine, whatever champagne, whatever liquor or whatever bottle that you want to have, you can customize it to your liking. This will be an amazing gift, an amazing wedding gift amazing birthday gift just an amazing gift all together this definitely is a conversation piece absolutely because you don't really see many of these in people's homes you just don't really see these at all so when the idea was presented to me and i saw a picture of um, what was on sale on i think it was on etsy it was just a bottle with no bling it was the bottle lamp kit with just the the bulb, that's it. Just a bulb and a bottle with no bling, no glitter. So I knew that when I did it, I wanted to add my own twist. I wanted it to be very special, uh, very sparkly, very pretty. So it's so much that you can do with this. Um, you can make this be a wonderful gift and you can customize it um, with whatever wine, champagne, liquor bottle that you decide to choose for the person that you're giving it to. And this was for my sister-in-law who just retired at the age of 43 from a career of 22 years and I'm so proud of her and she was so so excited when I gave her this she just was so blown away I don't know what she was picturing in her head that this was going to look like but I really feel like I definitely surpassed her idea of what this was going to look like and it just made me feel really good that she liked it and just think of ways that you can make the lampshade even better if you have enough patience to bling it out or you can add some adhesive rhinestones to it um, like a sheet and cut it out and have a, a whole blingy um, crystallized lampshade maybe you could do like a chandelier type of setup like there's so much that you can do with this and I just hope that you guys received some really cool ideas from this video if you did like it share it on Facebook give it a thumbs up and also if you like to subscribe to this channel, that would be awesome. Um, but if not, thank you so much for stopping by. And thanks again for watching, you guys. Bye-bye. And we do carry faux leather inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs, luxury inspired croc charms, as well as iron-on patches and much more. Enjoy the coupon code MYROYALBEAUTY10 off. Check out our website, CRTacticalDefense.com, where we do sell in waistband gun holsters, belly band holsters, and many more. Please check out my discount code VIBES for a special discount for my subscribers.
And if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, that would be awesome. Just don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be updated every time I upload a new video, you guys. Thanks again. Bye-bye.